want to pretend like it happens like this all the time, it really doesn't. Yesterday there is particular levels of excitement and I think if you see the guests sitting with me, you know why. We are of course coming to you today from the Bombay Cocktail Bar and we have three very, very, very charming people with us. We have Nidhi Agarwal of course, Tiger Shroff and Sabir Khan. We are talking Munna Michael and I have to start first of all by saying I am intrigued. I like this, the idea of this strange combination of a con, a don and the king of pop. <laughs> I approve yeah. entirely. So it started off with the germ of an idea right. about uh, the street boy called Munna, huh. the iconic Munna from right. the Hindi cinema, uh, who is hugely inspired by the king of pop, Michael Jackson, yeah. hence Munna Michael. Yeah. So I thought it was unusual, I thought it was a character that if, we, if, d if done well, yeah, yeah, yeah. could be etched out and remembered. Uh, then of course, uh, structuring the screenplay and just came out with the idea of the dawn. <laughs> of the dawn, and uh, thought the most bizarre person to play it, Nawaz, who wants to learn dance. So I thought it would be a really unusual uh, bringing together of two very different actors, and then uh, probably the audience would enjoy it. So hence, this is all together. Were you enchanted by again just the idea of Munna adoring Michael? I was totally. Yeah. It was. I thought it was something I could relate to. Yeah. And uh, I was m most excited to work with him again. Yes. So, you know. Third uh, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't say third time's the charm because it implies the other two weren't. But first <laughs> yeah. time, maybe the, the biggest charm. Biggest charm. Or, right? Yeah. 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 For you also. Now, this is, this is your first film. Yeah. This is, um, this is a big deal. It is a really, it's the biggest deal of my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, come on, and tell us what uh, it's like. <laughs> audition. <laughs> yeah. It's been really good. I mean, it's been all learning right. for me every single day from the first day. And when I look at myself, yeah. like I go back to my camera roll on my phone right. and I look at everything from the first day to the last day, I see such a big change. Right. And um, yeah, like we've all worked really hard. I've had extremely supportive people like right. Tiger, Sabir sir, Nawaz sir. All of them have right. been extremely kind, no compromise at all. So I think I've got like a, go a golden opportunity. I would, so yes, I'm very yeah. blessed. And you know, again, the, 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 this lovely young gentleman sitting next to you, you know, you must be the envy, I'm assuming, of all your friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Are, are, are they pinching you? Are they, uh, you know, demanding well, selfies, my, things like that? All my friends are back home in Bangalore. I'm from Bangalore. Yes. I moved to Bombay a couple of years ago. But yeah, everyone is envious. Girls, guys, everyone. <laughs> So lucky I, me, oh, sorry, was that <laughs> lucky? <laughs> no, I was just going to say if you wanted to respond to all these, oh, you know, yeah. you know, there's, there's a lot of them out here. I, I don't know if you, you know, noticed the various fatuous smiles, yeah, yeah. adoring smiles. It's lovely to see that, yeah. And it's, uh, I just want to say it's because of them we are here, really. And it's all thanks to them that, you know. What is it? Thank you. I want to say in his case that I think it might also have a little bit to do with things like those insane flying kicks and other such skills. How do those happen? Are you able to just like, you know, whip yourself? Are they, you know, cranes? Are they harnesses? Are no, they never, no. never. I try never using that. Really? Because uh, I, it's something that I'm very passionate about and something I've worked towards all my life. You know, ever since I was four, I've been, uh, you know, crazy about, uh, you know, Bruce Lee and, and stuff like that. Michael Jackson, of course. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, it's sort of second nature to me now. That high, like just every time? I, I don't know, yeah, I think... Uh, <laughs> He's a great gymnast. It's a great a, no, no, but I mean, it's like, you know, it's, it's like competition level, you know. <laughs> no, like competing worldwide, you know, that level, right? No? I, I'm asking? Yeah. I mean, yeah. yes. N no, no, far from it, really. No, it's yes. I'm very, very uh, I think ever since I was a child, I was very uh, athletically gifted. Yes. Naturally, I was very good with sports. You know, I, education, me, I wasn't the greatest student, but I was enough to pass by. But I used to only go to school, play sports because that was something I could excel in. Right. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I was just, uh, I could pick up uh, sports and stuff very quickly. Do you know how lucky you are? Like, is, is that something you... So, no, seriously, like, do you, I know you've worked at it and so it's not in any way to diminish the work that goes into it. But, I mean, people can work and not be this good. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I refuse to believe that. Uh, people don't work hard enough to be this good. That's the difference. I'm no, not don't, saying don't I'm work that hard good. enough. <laughs> I think uh, if you really put in the effort, if you really want something, then anything is possible. Honestly, okay. like uh, you know, my goal someday is to be Spider-Man, and uh, I've been working so hard all my life. You know, all the things that Spider-Man can do, I feel that I can also do. Except for, you know, swinging from building to building. I need some effects for that. <laughs> but right, so far, my half of my dream has come true. I was recently the voice of Spider-Man. So, uh, 
Yeah, so I think, you know, it's the power of the subconscious mind, the power of manifestation. It's law of attraction. So if you really, if you see a figure in front of you every day in the morning or whatever, constantly that you have in the head, sure. you tend to sort of become that person eventually. Like, mujhe yaad hai, when I wanted to learn how to dance, I kept thinking Michael Jackson, okay, Rithik Roshan, Michael Jackson, Rithik Roshan. My body started moving that way. You know, I started walking like that. My body language started changing. So it's just, it's amazing what the mind can do. I'm going out tomorrow to buy some posters. <laughs> yeah, no, really. <laughs> yeah, I prom no, I'm very serious. I'm going to. So now here is the other thing that I have to ask, and this is actually speci specifically to the two of you, and I'm coming back to you. See, I am a child also of the 80s, right? Which means I grew up with MJ. Yeah. So I'm also like a little territorial, as you know, our generation tends to be. Now, I've heard you say that you have been an MJ fan since you were four or five years old. Yes. What was it that you fell in love with? Was it one song? Was it one move? Was it a costume? Was it that wild glove of his? Well, it was, it was, was it so, I, I was so young, yeah. you know. Um, sometimes I understand why the majority of my following is little kids, huh. you know. Um, at the age of two, three. I was around that age as well. But for me, it was looking at this man who's moving like he's supernatural, you know, like he's a superhero or something like that. So I was just infatuated by all of the things he could do. Yeah. And I was like, wow, I want to be like that. You know, I want to I meet this guy, you know. Yeah. And uh, so similarly, when little kids come up to me, it's like, Are, uh, sir, ye ek kuch stunt karke dikhao ya, wo dance karke dikhao. Or the mother will come with her daughter or something. Are, ye khana nahi khati jab, jab tak aapka uh, so it's just very endearing, very... Then I sort of start making connections. Yeah, even I was like that. I used to not... Uh, until, you know, I used to watch, uh, let's say, a Bruce Lee film or, you know, MGA song or something. I used to not, you know, want to do anything, yeah. you know, or eat food or, you know, I used to always uh, be very stubborn that way when yeah. I was a child. It's because I was just so crazy for these people. That's amazing. For you, did you come to for MJ Love early? I think he's the biggest Michael Jackson fan. But right. of course, Michael Jackson's a legend. Yeah. And the more you know, I see MJ fans now, I feel like Michael Jackson's a feeling yeah. that all of these people have. And it's right. a phenomenon. So yeah, of yeah. course, I'm in love with it. How much fun did you have? I mean, you know, just, you know, you, you must have had to go back, all of you, like to greatest hits, to revisit moments, moods, songs, moves that you loved most. Was it a blast? Uh, totally. You know, yeah. you, you, you've been in awe of the man, yeah. the king of pop, and all my growing up years, we've, yeah. we've collected all his albums, listened to it. For, so, uh, there's a lot of deja vu on the sets. Right. And of course, uh, Michael Jackson himself is just so much of an entertainer. Yeah. So that when you're recreating something and Tiger is doing it, he's just having a blast, genuinely a blast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very much so. Okay, so now tell me the things that happened on set. Were there adventures, misadventures, haps, mishaps? I think every song was an adventure. Yeah. Um, every, every moment we tried to create was an adventure. Every, it was challenging, there were obstacles, yeah. but uh, you know, as a team, we just overcame them. Yeah. He was the captain and he just led us through everything. Can you do any of these moves? Yeah. I just taught him everything and then yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sanyas. <laughs> So good, good, good. We're, we're going to have a few demos in a bit. <laughs> all three of you, right? Okay. Yeah, the, the, the different sets of skills. Um, all right, so let's, let's, let's actually open it up a little bit so I'm not being the only one. Um, who has the mic? Um, so ma'am, you're looking absolutely gorgeous now. Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> I've read about your hobbies, horse riding, painting, dancing. I would like to talk about dancing. So you are uh, really good at belly dance, um, Kathak and... Uh, Ballet. 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 So, are you planning to learn something else? So for me, actually ballet is the only form of dance that I'm properly trained in. I'm l I've learned it for about seven years. Belly dancing and Kathak and all, I've just learned for about four to six months. So any but steps of yours from ballet? From ballet? In, this is... Can you? This outfit yeah, can you is a request. I can, I can show you some little bit of belly dancing. Belly dancing? If you want. Sure. The ballet is yeah. a bit tough for this. Ah, you can do balle balle. You, you balle. also do it. <laughs> belly dance? Yeah, with me. All the girls, whoever wants to come. Anyone come, come on, come on. Come, come. I'll just show you like a basic yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, Stand keep on. your knees a bit soft. Okay? <laughs> and no, okay. just go right. Like. Now go left. Right. <laughs> left. Can you do that fast? <laughs> I can just do it. Yeah? Just, just keep this part stiff. And? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Not bad. Very good. Very good. <laughs> See, good. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay. You. <laughs> but what fun? It's Who's next? Hi, uh, I'm Jay, and I assume even your name is oh, yeah. Jay oh. Aman Shroff. So, why Tiger for Bollywood? Yar, because I used to cut people. I used to bite people. I used to scratch people. Used to bite. Yeah, when I was young. Not anymore. Now, I'm a billy. Okay. 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 Okay.